said that the most dangerous things on earth are humans. We are the ones responsible for creating deadly chemicals or weapons that could lead to our own demise, which is absolutely terrifying. Today, let's take a look at some of the deadliest substances that scientists have created. From dangerous nerve gas to incredibly poisonous solutions. We'll cover this and more only in today's video. Starting off this countdown, we have VX or Venomous Agent X. With a name like that, you know this chemical compound is no good. So this is a very deadly nerve agent that was created in the 1950s by the British military. It's so deadly that a dose as low as 10 milligrams can kill people. So this chemical can enter the body through inhalation or it can be easily absorbed into your skin. If you do come in contact with it, it will disrupt the signals between your nervous system and muscular system so that your muscles in your body will become paralyzed, including your diaphragm, stopping your ability to breathe and slowly killing you through asphyxiation. Does not sound like a pleasant way to go, that's for sure. In our ninth spot today, we have botulinum toxin. And I apologize if I pronounce any of these really confusing chemical names. Okay, don't come for me, I'm trying. This is said to be one of the most dangerous chemicals in the world. In fact, it's the most lethal poison known to man. It's so toxic that one gram of this toxin can kill more than one million people. Yes, only one gram. That is insane. Basically, if you're exposed to it, then it will paralyze your muscles and can stop your heart and or respiratory system from working. Funnily enough, this chemical is used in Botox. Yes, they use it because of its ability to paralyze muscles. So it was first discovered back in 1895 by a Belgian professor. So he was the first to isolate the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. I mean, I am cheating here since the substance is produced naturally, but scientists did take that bacteria bacteria and then manipulate it and then had the idea to use it for Botox. In our 8th spot we have chlorine trifluoride. This substance was created in the 1930s by scientists Otto Ruff and H. Krug. And guess what? This substance can cause anything to burst into flames on contact and the fire cannot be extinguished. Or it can cause a full blown explosion. Like it has been known to catch asbestos on fire. Asbestos is one of the most fire retardant substances in existence. So that says something right there. As a result of this, the Nazi party took great interest in this. They wanted to have their soldiers use it to melt through their enemies' bunkers. But after doing more tests on it, they found it to be very unstable and too much of a risk to take. They'd probably end up hurting themselves before hurting their enemies. Moving on to number seven, we have hydrofluoric acid. This next chemical was created by adding sulfuric acid to fluorite at a high temperature. It was discovered in 1771 by a Swedish pharmaceutical pharmaceutical chemist Carl Wilhelm Steele. He was doing tests on calcium fluoride and ended up creating this acid. This acid has been known to cause terrible burns if exposed to the skin. It literally will cause these burns in an instant. Not only that, but it's deadly if you inhale its vapors. This can irritate your respiratory system and can cause pulmonary edema. This is a condition caused by excess fluid in the lungs, which can lead to heart and breathing problems. Pulmonary edema can also be fatal. In our sixth spot, we have phosgene. This is another chemical said to be one of the most dangerous in the world. It was first created in 1811 by a German Jewish chemist named Fritz Haber. He was actually given the name the father of chemical warfare, and he's quite a controversial figure in history. That's because the creation of this led to the death of thousands during the world wars. A small concentration released into the air is enough to kill a person. So after immediate exposure, it will cause its victims to cough profusely. Profusely. It will cause irritated watery eyes, blurred vision, irritation of the respiratory tract, and a burning sensation in the throat. After that, they might feel fine, but the next day they will die of choking from buildup of fluid in the lungs. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with dimethyl cadmium. This is another one of the world's most toxic chemicals. It was created in 1917 near the end of the first war. A German chemist named Erich Kraus was doing experiments on a number of chemicals and ended up creating dimethyl cadmium. This chemical is highly, highly toxic and reactive. It's also very deadly. Inhaling only a few micrograms can lead to cadmium metal poisoning, which will then lead to death. It also has very damaging effects on one's liver and kidneys. 
Moving on to number four, we have the Piranha Solution. With a name like that, you know it's gotta be scary. In fact, it gets its name because it can easily eat through organic matter. This solution is created by mixing hydrogen peroxide with sulfuric acid. So not only is it extremely dangerous to touch, but it can easily explode. And it has been known to irritate one's respiratory tract if inhaled. Both its liquids and vapors are extremely corrosive to one's skin and respiratory tract. It can burn the eyes and destroy one's mucous membranes. In our third spot, we have dimethyl mercury. This is a very dangerous and toxic chemical compound. It was created by George Buckton in 1857 by reacting methyl mercury iodine with potassium cyanide. And this created a very deadly substance. In fact, a small drop of this can lead to mercury poisoning. Take the case with chemist Karen Wetterhahn, for example. In the late 90s, Karen was studying the effects that dimethyl mercury had on living organisms. While running some tests, she dropped a bit of chemical onto her glove. What she didn't know is that it can easily permeate through her latex gloves within 15 seconds. And even a small drop is enough to cause mercury poisoning. Sadly, that's what happened and she ended up slipping into a coma before passing away 10 months later. Coming in at number two, we have serine. Serine was created in 1938 in Germany by scientists who were trying to create a stronger pesticide. In the end, they created serine a very toxic nerve gas that has the ability to kill people in minutes. During initial exposure, you might experience tremors or seizures. Then soon, it will paralyze your lungs and body. It kills you through suffocation as your lungs become paralyzed. Then you'll lose control of your bodily functions and you get it, it's not pretty. As a result, this is said to be a potential weapon of mass destruction. And over the years, the government has done some pretty nasty sarin gas experiments on people. Like in 2013 with the attack on Syria that took the lives of more than 1400 people. And in our number one spot today, we have fluoroantimonic acid. This is said to be the strongest acid in the world. To give you an example of how acidic it is, it is 10 quadrillion times stronger than sulfuric acid. This acid can easily burn right through plastic and glass. If you touch it, well, it will melt the skin right off your bones. How fun is that? It was created by combining hydrogen fluoride with antimony pentafluoride. And I can't imagine how that went. Like, it can react violently to water. Heating it is dangerous and it can destroy beakers. Guess they discovered that out all through trial and error. All right guys, that's all for today's video. If you wanna see part two, then you gotta let me know in the comments below and smash that like button. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our common shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 bizarre hoaxes in history that turned out to be real. Alina Aju commented, claim your free ticket here. She commented this a bunch of times, so I'm, I'm assuming it's a bot. If not, can I have a ticket to what? A movie? Sure, give it to me. Thank you. Simon says, oh, that's a good one. Simon says off the yard UK and get fit. That's a really interesting name. Uh, he commented, glad you got over your cold. No more red nose. I was never sick. I just had a red nose. Like it's cold outside and my makeup came off. Yeah, anyway. Joanna Koyama commented, hey, where's Perry? Perry. Nice one. All right. All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya.